Today I'm going to show you how to make this a bubbly, delicious, crispy chicken bake. It's low carb, keto, diet friendly. So let's get straight into the recipe. So pop your oven on to 180 degrees Celsius, that's 350 Fahrenheit, and then grab a big oven dish and we're going to fill it with chicken. So I'm using two one kilo packages of chicken, so I've got two kilos here. If you'd prefer to cook a kilo, then cook a kilo. Cook as much as you want to feed your family and I also like to have heaps and heaps and heaps of leftovers, so I will always cook quadruple of what I need so there's no way my family of four are going to eat all of these big beautiful chicken legs but there will be leftovers for days and they absolutely adore this dish so it's always great having leftovers in the fridge and it's really nice cold even you don't even have to heat it up to enjoy this so we've popped our chicken legs in step one I'll move the package aside now just so you know the blog post will be down below with a full recipe that you can print out now onto the sauce that we're going to add. We're going to add a cup of sauce and you can use whichever sauce you like. You can use, ideally if you're following low carb keto diet, find the lowest carb. They put loads of sugars and other ingredients into these pasta sauces. So find the lowest carb pasta sauce that you absolutely can and add a cup of it. And before we mix it all through, we're just going to add one more ingredient, and that is garlic. So I'm just going to pop a garlic clove in here and there and everywhere in between. Um, and it's a gram of carb per garlic clove, so add as little or as much as you want. I just love this. Once the garlic is all roasted, it is just amazing. And then add your seasoning of choice, whatever you like. I'm going to add some salt over there. And now it's just a matter of mixing everything through and getting that sauce distributed into every little drop, every crack. You can go and toss your pieces over to just distribute the tomato around. Just distribute it and just, you could add a little more or if you'd prefer to have a little less sauce, so you could add some, le add less sauce. It is totally up to you, but I've just found this whole cup added in popped in the oven oh, it's just it already smells amazing I love this tomato sauce that I found it's just it I just went searching through every single bottle and I picked the one with the lowest carb out of all of them and that is what I'm using so I'm very I'm not doing this very methodically I'm just kind of haphazardly just when I see an empty bit of chicken taking a bit of sauce spreading it here spreading it there I find these jobs quite therapeutic in the kitchen I'm not sure about you but I am quite happy with that and now this is going to go into the oven for 45 minutes but again it just depends on how many chicken legs you're using I'm using just the chicken legs just the drumsticks um, so I'm popping this in for 45 minutes um, if you're not sure, start for, with half an hour, take it out, and if it's crisping up nicely, then it's perfect. Um, so we can do it 45 minutes, turn it over, another half an hour, and that will be perfect. So let's pop this in the oven, and I'll show you what it looks like after 45 minutes. Okay, so I've taken it out the oven, I've turned all the pieces of chicken over, and I've topped it with a little bit of cheese. Now, this isn't going to be a super cheesy dish, um, unless you want it to. I like just a subtle bit of cheese. You can see it's already starting to melt in. And this is going to go back into the oven for a final half an hour. So, 30 to 45 minutes first time, another half an hour, and then you'll have the perfect, the best chicken bake. So, I will show it to you once it is completely cooked in another half an hour. Check it out. It's all bubbling hot and crispy, and oh, it tastes amazing. It's just one of those awesome dishes the whole family absolutely loves it and um, if you're low carb keto friend like me you can serve it with some cauliflower mash or veggie of choice on the side or just enjoy it with maybe a bit of sour cream on the side or just as it is or you could enjoy it with some mashed potato or your favorite carb of choice some rice might be nice as well and um, that is the recipe for today my absolute favorite best ever chicken bake thanks so much for watching this video make sure that you leave a like and subscribe for more inspiration and leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this recipe i look forward to reading your comments and we'll see you again soon bye